What is up, Karanix? In this video, I'm going to be giving a guide for this week's normal time trial, RC Bandito time trial, and the premium race totaling over $300,000. Remember, the time trials can only be completed once a week for the full $100,000 payout. The premium race, however, can be completed in a limited amount of times with a 48 minute cooldown between each win. Also, keep in mind that rocket powered slash flying vehicles cannot be used in time trials. So, starting off with the time trial this week, which is Vinewood Hills. I highly recommend Arely Hakachu Drag, Shotaro, or a Batty 801 for this time trial. In terms of route, this time trial has a few shortcuts towards the end, but it's pretty simple if you use one of the bikes I mentioned and are careful in the off-road section. The rest of it is just following the road while also avoiding some of the traffic, which again is pretty easy if you let off the throttle and keep your bike stable. For this time trial, I will be using a fully upgraded Shotaro. Moving on to this week's RC Bandito time trial, which is Cemetery. As always, you need to own an RC Bandito in order to participate in these. So this RC time trial is a bit tricky if you've never done it before. Most of it is tight areas where you definitely have to brake a lot extra and do a lot of throttle control. And make sure you let off the throttle again before many of the turns and bumps so you can maintain the stability of your Bandito. And lastly, when you use your brakes, make sure to press them in about halfway not all the way, or you might lose control of your bandito.
And lastly, we have this week's premium race, which is down the drain. This one is restricted to the muscle cars class. I highly recommend already Vapid Click, Yosemite, Hellfire, or a Pizwazer Dominator for this race. For those of you who have never done this race before, it's pretty easy for the most part. The biggest tip I can give is to go on and off the walls. This will give your car a speed boost. Also, when you go off the first jump of the race, make sure you angle your car to the left so you don't land off the track to the right. Anyways, for this one, I'll be using a fully upgraded Vapid Click. And that's it guys, a normal time trial is pretty easy if you use a bike, it can do well in the off-road portion. The RC time trial is pretty difficult if you've never done it before, but just take it slow for most of the tight corners and you'll be fine. And this week's premium race might take some practice if you've never done it before, but overall it's pretty easy. Again, remember guys, you can earn over $300,000 between the three this week, and setting yourself to go to beat them is always a lot of fun in my personal opinion. Let me know which one you found most difficult and what vehicles you used down below in the comments. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.